hello everyone and welcome to another video so in this video we are going to take a look at this module and this is a small buck converter that also supports your qualcomm 2.0 as well as, as well as qualcomm 3.0 fast charging and on the description page it also says that it also supports other brands proprietary uh, fast charging protocols as well so i bought this from amazon and for a single piece i had to pay like uh, 400 rupees so i bought two pieces and when they came they came joined together like this so this is this is a single piece and this is the other piece and what you can do is basically you can connect up to a voltage of 6 volt to 32 volt and then you can charge your 5 volt devices through this USB port uh, yes this USB port uh, now because it supports Qualcomm 2.0 as well as Qualcomm 3.0 and it also supports fast charging basically fast charging so you can also connect your fast charging compatible devices and charge them at a higher uh, at a higher uh, uh, energy level uh, in this video we are going to test this using a 12 volt battery so in front of me i have a 12 volt battery so let me just uh, show you what is the voltage on my battery so i've set set my multimeter on the uh, voltage setting and what i'm going to do now is basically measure the voltage on the battery So this is my positive terminal, this is the negative, so let me connect the positive to positive, negative to negative and you can see that our battery is about 12.17 volt. I know this is a little lower but this is an old bike battery and I don't have any other uh, alternate at this moment. So let's just take a couple of alligator clips. So what we can do is basically connect the positive to the positive of our battery, basically the plus of our battery. So let me just do that positive connected now I'm going to take a black clip connected to the negative of our battery now our battery is connected and if you look closely onto the module you can see that the right terminal of the right module says positive so what we are going to do is basically connect the positive the red lead to the positive of our module disconnected and now I'm going to connect the negative of our module to the negative of our uh, module so as you can see when I connect it you can see the blue LED is growing and now I've got my uh, USB meter. This is the Ruidang UM34C. I've got a USB load. We are going to test this meter with a load. And I've also got my fast charging trigger. And at the end of this video, we will also connect a fast charging compatible phone, which is the Redmi Note 7. And we will see whether this can charge the Redmi Note 7 uh, and it does whether it triggers the fast charging speed on the Redmi Note 7 or not. So let me just plug in my USB meter and see whether we are getting 5 volt or not so when I plug it in you can see we are getting about 5 volt about 4.94 volt could have been a little better could have been like a little more than that but anyways it is still working no problem so far now let me connect a USB load to this so now I've connected a USB load and uh, on the description page of the module it says that it supports up to uh, it supports 5 volt at 3.4 ampere so let me increase the current and let's see whether we are able to get 3.4 amp or not so 2 amps 3 amps and 3.4 so we are at 3.4 mark and it does support after 3.4 the voltage start decreasing rapidly so let me decrease the voltage and we're right above right at 5 volt mark so it does support uh, 3.4 amp at 5 volt now with what we can do is basically what i'm going to do now is basically uh, connect my usb uh, fast charging trigger and we will see whether it triggers your fast charging voltages that is your uh, 9 volt or 12 volts or anything in between so let me just remove my load at the moment and just connect the USB meter 
and then I'm going to connect my USB uh, trigger. So let me just connect the trigger to, uh, to my USB meter. So my USB trigger is connected and as you can see we are getting 5 volt and if I increase the fast charging voltage to 9 volt let's see if it is able to deliver that yes so we are at about 8 point something volt which is uh, somewhat close to 9 volt so this is supporting 9 volt let's increase the uh, voltage a little more and we are at about 12 volt mark so it does support Qualcomm 2.0 and uh, 3.0 and let's see if it triggers it goes into 3.0 technology mark as well so what i'm going to do is press this button and this will move us from the qc 2.0 as you can see on the top to the qc 3.0 so now we are in qc 3.0 and in this stage i should be able to increase the voltage in a increment of 200 millivolt so let me just do that so if i increase the voltage now you can see the voltage should increase in an increment of 200 millivolt. So the Qualcomm 3.0 fast charging is also working on this module and when I touch the module this is not getting a lot, not getting much warmer. Although I wouldn't recommend uh, running more than uh, 2 amp at a time on this module. Now on the description page of this module they say that it can run at a 24 watt. This supports at least 24 watt that is uh, 12 times 2 is 24 watt. So but I wouldn't be running this at a full potential that is 24 watt. So uh, because uh, at 24 watt I can see that the inductor uh, gets a little warm and I don't want that. I don't want to damage the module. So let's just connect uh, a USB load again and let's see whether the description that this say is true or not. So what they say is basically at 5 volt uh, this should be able to give 3.4 amp which we just tested. Now let me trigger the 9 volt uh, voltage. So we are at about 9 volt and they say that this can support up to 2.5 amp. So I'm increasing the current. And as I'm increasing the current, the voltage is decreasing, but I'm right at 2 amp and the voltage is fairly about uh, close to uh, 8 volt. Now let's decrease the current and let me increase the voltage to 12 volt. So we're at 12 volt mark and let's see if it is able to go to 2 amp, which is the rated ampere written on the description of this module. So as I'm increasing the, the current on the uh, 12 volt setting, uh, the voltage is decreasing, sorry the current, uh, the voltage is decreasing as I'm increasing the current and I'm not sure whether this is the module itself or the battery voltages. So let me just check the battery voltage again because the 12 volt battery that I'm using is not very new or not fully charged. So my battery is about 11.84 uh, volt. So as we can see, this is having a little trouble uh, reaching, giving two amps at uh, 12 volt. Other than that, at nine volt setting, it is working perfectly fine. So now let's talk about some of the application of this uh, module. What you can do is basically, if you don't have a five volt charger, you can basically use this module and use your 12 volt charger or any, any other uh, uh, volt power supply be it from 6 volt to 32 volt if you have any other kind of power supply you can basically connect your power supply to these terminals positive to positive uh, negative to negative and then you can use this module as your 5 volt charger and the good thing is that it supports fast charging so you can uh, charge your mobile phones or any other gadgets that supports fast charging at a much higher speed other thing that you can do is also you can use it as a solar charge controller so what you can do if you have about a, let's say a 12 volt solar panel uh, then you can connect your solar panel uh, to the positive and the negative and then you can use the solar energy to charge your phone directly from the solar so what i'm going to do now is basically i've got my two solar panels each one is about six volt uh, about more than six volt uh, in open circuit voltage produces about 7.2 something volt so I wired these panels in parallel so basically connected uh, positive of one solar panel 
positive of one solenoid panel to the positive of other then the negative of one to the negative of other and then there is two wires coming out uh, from the positive as well as the negative so let me just connect the uh, positive and negative of the solar panels to our module so if you can see uh, the striped cable this cable is the positive one so I'm going to connect the positive which is coming from the positive of our module to the positive of our solar panel and then I'm going to connect the negative of my module sorry negative of my module uh, to the to the negative of the solar panel wire so the wiring is complete let me just take uh, this contraption under sunlight and see whether the module is giving us 5 volt or not so I've got the solar panel here and as you can see uh, if you look at the module the blue colored LED is glowing that means we are getting power so I've connect connected a USB cable uh, to the module and let's connect the other end of the module to a phone so I've got my Samsung J7 here and if I plug it in the module you can see that it says charging so the module is definitely working let's try with another phone so I've got another Samsung J7 sorry the Samsung Z1 you heard the tone and as you can see this phone is also charging let me show you again charging and now for just to make sure I'm going to use another USB cable with a 2 millimeter sorry a very small pin connector and let's try our my Nokia 1661 and you can see this is also charging now let's check with a fast charging phone and let's see whether the fast charging feature is triggering fast charging on our phone or okay now let's see whether the module triggers the fast charging on a compatible phone or not so I've got the uh, Redmi Note 7 here and this phone supports uh, fast charging all the way up to uh, Qualcomm 4.0 so I've got the battery here and let me just connect the positive of the battery so you can see the module lights up now the phone supports your USB-C cable so let me just connect the cable so the cable is now connected and now let me just connect the phone let's see whether it triggers the fast charging on the phone or not so you can see it is charging and it says charging fast so it is definitely working so there we go this was my video on the Qualcomm 3.0 fast charging module I hope you found this video helpful I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye